Okay, now I'm back with my fourth dish. My fourth dish is gonna be mushroom rice pila. Okay, so I'm gonna fix this here dish for y'all. This will be my fourth dish that I'm going to fix. Okay, now in the dish that I'm going to fix now, it is going to be mushroom rice pila. And in mushroom rice pila, we have uh, chicken broth, okay? We have butter, we have olive oil, we have onion that we're gonna chop up. We have, this is baby Bella mushrooms, okay? This is what it's called for. And this is gonna be all sliced up and everything, okay? And then we have garlic, minced garlic. That's going in there, okay? And then we're going to have the rice that is going to go in there, okay? And then we're going to use, ordinarily, salt and pepper, okay? So that's going in there, too. And then I'm going to show you how to do it in just a little bit. I'll be right back. So... In this pot right here, what I'm going to do with uh, the mushroom rice pila, what we're going to do, we're melting some butter in here. And that's about, looks like about two and a half tablespoons of butter that I put in there. It's only supposed to be one tablespoon of butter, but I put me a little bit more butter in there. Okay, so, and then we're gonna get some olive oil. And the olive oil, we're only supposed to use one tablespoon of olive oil. All right. Then we're going to put the onions in there. Along with some uh, along with the um, that we're going to have the olive oil. We're going to have the uh, garlic and And the mushrooms. Okay, so that's in now. Okay. And uh, here's our mushrooms. All this is going to be in there together. And you know, mushrooms shrink a lot when you're cooking them. They shrink, they shrink so, so, so much. All right. So, and then I'm gonna get my garlic here. We have minced garlic here. And uh, we're gonna let this here go ahead on and cook here. Let me see, minced garlic. Get something to get this out of here. Okay, minced garlic. That's supposed to be about three cloves. That's about right, right there. Then we're gonna do us some salt and black pepper in here. About one teaspoon, or one and a half teaspoon of salt. And this is gonna be about, oh, shoot, I hate this thing. It don't open right. Uh, this right here is about, let's say about a tablespoon and a half that. Then I'm going to mix this here all up together. Let this here saute some till the mushrooms get a little right because I wanted to saute some. Then we're going to add the rice and everything to it. So let's let this here just saute some up here. And then I'm going to come back over this here way. Okay, and thing. So, I'm gonna let that go ahead on saute on up some. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so far you can see how this has cooked down. Okay, so I'm gonna do me one cup of rice. Okay, one cup of rice. 
to two and a half cups of uh, two cups of uh, one cup of chicken broth. And then one cup of, one and a half cup of water. Okay. But just one cup of water. Let's just use one cup of water because then it won't take so long to fix. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let that come to a boil. And when that comes to a boil, then uh, it's going to be ready. Oh, I already put the salt and pepper and everything in there. So all I gotta do now is just let this here cook. And then when that finished cooking, then that's my other dish, okay? So bear with me, y'all, because, hey, this agent is no joke, I'm here to tell you, because you sure be forgetting a whole lot that you saying and everything else and what you're doing, because I'm trying to do everything so quick and so fast here to where it's pathetic so i'm gonna cut this on up on high so he can go ahead on and start cooking and then i'm gonna cut it down on low so he can finish cooking all right okay i told you i was coming back didn't i, didn't I tell you i was coming back hey i'm here listen i finished i finished this is the mushroom rice pilaf let me tell you something you can do it with barley if you like barley you can do it with barley and things but this is the mushroom rice pilaf look at this y'all look at this don't that look good it is so good i taste it I don't taste a lot of stuff all day today. I'm probably full in the day because I'm not playing with you. I'm probably so full because I've been tasting food. That's all I've been doing is tasting. You know, because when I make these videos, I make three. I just don't fix all of my meal at one time. But I make three videos. So you can see a little bit of everything that I fix and how I fix it. And then I just take my time and then I and then I just do it all. Okay? But I have one more. I have one more to go. And that one more, I'll finish it up tomorrow. But as I want to tell you, I love my subscribers. And my subscribers are uh, putting everything on Facebook and telling people to come to my, uh, come to YouTube and subscribe to me. And I appreciate y'all so much. You just don't know how much I appreciate you because you're doing a lot to help me. Okay. And I just want to tell you, I love you. I appreciate you. And I, I'm going to keep trying to bring you a lot of different things, a lot of weird things. That you may not never heard of. Because I like weird food. I can't help it. I can't help it. I just like weird food. That's just me. I just like trying different things. I don't know why. But I just do. But hey. So while we on that journey together. And y'all in my world. And, and I'm in your world. When I read some of the things that you write to me. A lot of things touch me. Oh, Miss Isaac, don't forget, I ain't forgot about you. I haven't forgot about you at all. And I have another subscriber that I haven't forgot about because when I fixed that uh, avocado with the egg in it, she said, oh, it looked good, but I don't think I'm going to do that one. But I like how it look. <laughs> I thank you for that one, too. I ain't playing. I really, really do because you made me laugh. And you made my day. I'm serious. You really, really did. So, have a beautiful one. Okay? Bon appetit, baby.